uh, it's wonderful that you've been around and going strong for the last so many years, three decades, which clearly shows that there is something more than engineering skills that a person should have to survive in this industry. Uh, would like to just share a few pointers for others to know what are those qualities? Uh, in fact, I would say that you're, you're perfectly right. In fact, um, you're more than right that engineering skills or your technical ability uh, form a very small fraction of the reason you're getting work. Okay, I mean, I won't even say the reason you're popular in your chosen field. But the reason you're getting work is probably because of your people skills. People tend to forget that in the end, it is a people business. It's about dealing with people, specifically with creative people, who are not the easiest of people to work with. You know, to work with. And um, those are the things really that make you useful in the or productive in the business. Today, I don't think that I would I get hired for my technical skills at all. Nobody ever hired me because you know I know how to push the buttons. Right. It's because you know I'm bringing some value to the table that may be intangible, but that will result in your at least you feel or the client feels that way that the result is going to be better because of my involvement in the project. That's why I get hired. 